okay, today is the skier squat. It's an awesome exercise for hip control, knee control, fantastic for athletes and sports people who are spending a lot of time on one leg and need to go sideways. We call it the skier squat because the skiers need it, but it's also like a skater squat. It's also great for people who are changing directions like football players, rugby players, netball players, who need that ability to land on one leg and then change direction. So it's sort of like the step down. Okay, now the step down, just to remind you, is this way. Okay, so it's a very much a plane movement in this direction. We are now going lateral, and we've got to use lots and lots of hip control and knee control to maintain good alignment on that leg while my leg's going up to the side. Right? So from this position, instead of going backwards with the lifted leg, we are going laterally with the lifted leg like that. Okay, now. What you can't do is drop down below the box because if you drop down below the box, I'm dropping my hip height. So I need to have a stable, neutral, level pelvis here. And I also need to make sure this knee doesn't want to roll inward. So it is an advanced exercise. If you were doing this exercise and you start sort of doing this sort of thing, you're not up to speed or you're not the level that you can do that. So for this point here, if you watch, I've got to sit backwards, keep my knee in line, and maintain those little fine motor movements to keep it stable. Because it is a hard exercise, so when you're going out, the, the further you go out, the harder it is, the more you have to sit backwards. But the beauty about this exercise is it forces you into quite a good squat position. It's hard to do a bad squat on one leg with this movement, because as you go wider, you have to sit backwards to keep this leg up in the air and come back again. And there's no point putting the foot back on the bottom. So it's keeping it up, letting it go laterally, and then come back. And I've got my hands here to sort of remind me that I've got to bend my hip, not just push my knee forward. Okay, so I'm trying to go that way and then come back. So if you look at this from a side angle, this is what I'm doing. I'm going into a squat position that way. Right? Okay, so that's the skier squat. Now, to advance that, we do it on a bow suit. So we make the stable surface unstable, which just makes things hard. And it's a good way of doing it rather than putting weights in it. This exercise is a little bit too difficult to be holding kettlebells and weights and things like that. It's more of a motor control exercise than a massive muscle building exercise. So again, you've got to be good at standing on a bowser for a start. So if you're not good at that, there's no point doing this. You've got to make sure you can actually go through the one leg balance with on the bowser and keep that reasonably level to start with. So you're going from here same exercise. You can see I'm shaking a bit more because it's a little bit hard. I've got to get used to holding that BOSU in line and doing the same movement. And when you're doing this correctly, you'll really feel that VMO working and then you'll probably feel the hip working a lot more because there's a lot of hip control movement doing that exercise. Okay.